Hey guys, and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018 with me, Time and Tactics. We're now on part three of chapter one. So, um, yeah, we have to water our field, right? That's what we said last time. So we need to get a well and then get started on watering. Let's do that. And a well. A well works a little bit different uh, than a field, obviously. It has a radius. Let's see if we can find the well here. Would it be under other? Yes, there it is. A well is for $1,000 and then a $3 upkeep. Yeah, it has a radius here. And I think I need to cover maybe this field here. We'll switch it up maybe from grass later on to something else, I think. Uh, right now, we don't need much. What if I put it right here? Maybe right there next to that field. Next to the road. Let's put it there. All right, we finish that. And then go ahead and water the field of, uh, was it strawberries? It was, yeah. Our 10 by 10 field. So who do we have here? Well, we're gonna use Cherry and Elliot again, I think. Our two planters. There we go. All right, so that's taken care of. So now they're gonna come out and start working on the field. What are we doing here? Manure storage is going up 101. We can probably add that here. I just want to keep an eye on it. We don't have very many things going on right now, so we'll, why not keep it there? 245 cow's milk. But you know what? That's going to expire, go bad. Now you look at, look at here too. We can see the uh, strawberry seedlings. We have about two weeks left here before, uh, uh, before the three that we have are going to go bad. So they're going to go bad because we're not going to plant anymore. So what if I go to my small warehouse and sell this? It's going to last till, well, I guess May. Let me go ahead and sell it now. You know what I should do? I should do auto trade for that. It's right here. So we have 245 liters right now, but milk doesn't last that long. So let's go ahead and select that for auto trade. And we'll say unlimited, meaning as soon as we get some, we'll sell it. Let's do that. I think that's all we have here. Yeah. Okay, they're working away, and watering is pretty quick, so that shouldn't take very long, actually. We do have one lady left here. This is, no, is it, who is it? Yeah, Leanne. She's not doing anything. Hmm. Okay, so we'll get the field. Well, it's done, almost. They're going back to the house. I think it doesn't mark it as done until they go into their house and uh, lay down to relax. I think that's what's happening there. Because I didn't get a notification yet that it was done. We'll see here what happens. Maybe when they come out. There. Yeah. There it is. Now it's done. Okay. Success. Great. And that means we're already on part four. Ah, here we go. Now we're going to have to work on silage. This is a little bit tricky. And I'll show you how to do this. It took me a while to figure this out. I think I got it down now. But anyway... So we have to uh, basically feed our cows in a way that doesn't cost too much money. And to do that, we have to use silage. Silage is like uh, a processed byproduct when you uh, harvest a uh, crop. So when you harvest a crop, you get the crop. And what's left over, you can take over to a, I guess, a storage place for silage and convert that into silage. And the cows can eat that. And in our case, we're going to use the grass, I think. So we need a storage for silage and then fix the small cow shed. All right. So we're going to fix the cow shed. It's right here. Yeah, you can see it's in bad shape. Let's do that. $1,000. That's going to that's gonna be fine. And then a silage storage. And I think I'm going to put it right here next to our manure storage. Let's do that. Weather alert. Too low temperature, but that's fine. I don't think it's going to matter too much. And... That's manure. It's out of production because you produce something from this place here. Let's rotate that by pressing R and then go up uh, right here, I think. I'm going to cut down that tree, get a little bit of money out of that, I think. You think you get like a hundred bucks. Yeah, and now you don't have to maintain as much forest. Okay, so they're going to come and fix this, but we need to have a road here. So let maybe add another dirt road. Something like that. Put the road right there. Okay, good. So they're going to come and build that. What else do we have to do? 
storage and fix the small cow shed. Well, they're working on that, so let's just speed that up. I think we are in good shape here. It's another gross of, uh, hmm, how long? That doesn't say here. It should say. Everything is fine though. The soil moisture, fertility, everything is fine. We're gonna get a great crop out of that. Okay, we fixed the small cow shed and they're working away on getting that solid storage as well. We can see the circle going up there. Great. And we should really take advantage of all that grass, right? So we're done with part, was that part four? I think it was. And now part five, uh, last part of chapter one. Uh-oh, but I don't think that's the right way to say it. Uh-oh, uh, maybe better. Aha, the landfill was built. And you shouldn't, probably it's not a native speaker of English writing these. But anyway, they do a pretty good job. Uh, so now we can process grass into silage. One of the things you can use grass for. They love, the cows love it for its juiciness, the silage. Okay, and repair the barn. So produce two units, that's not very much, of silage and fix the barn. The barn, yeah, the barn is in bad shape, so let's do that. We have 69,000 left. There we go. They're going to work on that. And then process silage. Um, so we have to use this place right here. You can see here the icon shows that we're missing a guy because we need a uh, worker here, but not yet because we don't have anything to use for our silage. You can use grass, crops, or straw. And I think the way it works is you need at least 100 kilos to get started, depending on your employee you get a bonus to the modifier here. So for 100 kilos of grass, you get 300 units of silage. And once you do it, well, let's see, let's first get that grass done. And we have a lot of grass here. And it's gonna be, mm, why don't I see the dates here anymore? Remember you say dates? I think there's been a couple of updates to the game, but maybe they don't show that anymore. So let's go ahead and speed it up. And I will be right back. Well, there's the, Barn, we'll make sure yep, that gets got done. Yeah, and now the only thing we're waiting for is, uh, well, we need to get that grass ready to be harvested. And it's been a couple of days uh, here, and uh, now it's done. I think the update must have removed the number of days here. So it's ready to be harvested, and we're going to need a lot of people here. We can put a lot of people in there. It takes a long time on a big field like this. So what do we do? Well, we have... A lot of people, well, not a lot, but we have four available here. No, three. Ernie is still working with a cow, so that's fine. So what I want to do, I think, is hire a few more. Now, who do we need? Hmm. Well, we wanted somebody to work at the silage storage place later on, and that's kind of like a factory. That's a symbol right here. Like Kai Stevenson here has zero out of five, but Kai can get better. If you don't have the ability at all, you, you can't improve it. So that's the only one now. Albie as well. Albie Kelly. Who else? That's it. Now here, Ivy Reynolds. Let's take Ivy here and hire Ivy for later. She can work on the uh, grassy field here and harvest that first. And then later on, we'll, uh, we'll get that. So should I get something else as well? If I hire a lot of guys now with just the same skill, probably not the good idea. So what do we have now in our uh, house of permanent employees? We can have eight. Should I get eight? Now, right now, I can get four onto the field. So somebody can use machinery right now. And we have uh, orchards and planting. Somebody who is strong with animals. And then another guy, grower, as well as machinery. We probably want somebody with multiple skills because they're kind of limited here. You can't add another skill, as far as I know. Let's see if we can get maybe one more person hired. It costs quite a bit a month, right? But multiple skills. Who do we have? Here is planting as well as animals. We're going to have machinery later on. So that would be a good combo. Orchards and machinery. Maybe Lucas here. He was not going to be great at harvesting. Uh, but later on we can use him for other things. Let's hire him as well. That means we have five available now out of six. Room to grow. Let's get this field harvested. I'm gonna say autofill, but I want everybody working on this. So let's go ahead and accept that. And now they should come out from uh, the home. Yep, they are. And what they're gonna do right away, and I think you can see it here, yep, they're gonna cut the grass manually. We have no machinery, so it's really old fashioned here. And that's a big field to do, actually. They're gonna cut the grass here. As you can see, they're cutting it. Great, and we can actually look at these guys. Here's Elliot. He's working. We get a first-person view. 
So we're cutting all the grass now. And once that's done, what they're going to do is they're going to take all the grass that's cut. This makes me dizzy. Uh, they're going to take all the grass that got cut and they're going to lay it down in rows. And then once they have that done, they're going to go get bags from their house. And I think from the house, so maybe from the barn. And then collect all the grass. And, and these guys are strong. They can carry a lot of weight. Over 50 kilos, which is, you know, a lot to be carrying around. That's like 100 and... What is that? 120 pounds? Anyway, once they're done, they're going to then carry all the grass back in bags to the barn. And that's when we have grass available for our silage storage. And then we're going to take a look at that. So let's have them finish this first. All right, they're still working away on the field. Something I missed out before was we got like a little side quest here. Grow, well, four cows. That was a neighbor. Let's get four more cows before August 13th. If you can do that, it will give us $3,000. And to do that, well, you can't buy them in the store. It doesn't count. We have to get inseminator over here and get more cows. If they come, if they're ready, you'll be notified right here that they have you know, cows are available. Oh, here we go. So now they're done uh, getting the, um, uh, they're cutting the grass. So now we're making all of our, all of our um, uh, rows of uh, of cut grass. Let's see what Lucas does here. So he's working here. You can see the rake in his hand. I guess they're raking it all. He's walking up. I don't know where he's walking up. He could have done it right there at the beginning, I guess. Okay, he's going to start here, I guess. That's somebody there in front of him. Okay. So just raking, getting all that grass done. Lined up so they can get... So they can get uh, that collected into their um, into their into their bags. Let's go ahead and speed that up a bit. It doesn't take very long to do this particular part, so we'll, we'll just watch them here. So the cows we're gonna do maybe later. There is we can take a loan, unique offer. But to do that, to take a loan, uh, I think I looked at this last time, didn't I? Get a loan. We need to have practical training and negotiation skills and training and banking. You can get training here, but um, hmm, I have to scroll down. I don't know. This one here, 6500 I don't think I want a loan yet, though. $65,000 is enough. Okay, here we go. Now they're getting their bags out. Let's take a look at Lucas here. All right, he's going to collect the grass. And this is where they are really... Uh, they are very strong, these people. They can collect all the grass. Oh, this gives me... This spins around too much. Yeah, let's just watch from this angle, right? So that's going to take a little while. I don't know how long this takes. Not too long. Uh, you can look. Let's look at the bar. It's pretty quick here to get this done. They might get it done before they have to go back in and rest. Except this guy here. Yep, they're dropping it off now. So we should see more grass coming in. Yeah, 415. So once they're done, we can't take anybody off. We have to interrupt in that case. We'll wait till they're done, and then we'll take who was it. Ivy here. Ivy can go and work at the solid storage place. And they're done. Okay. So, let's find Ivy. There's Ivy. Okay, yeah. Oh, they're still working. Okay, they're still working. We'll wait till that's done. At least I don't think I can assign her just yet. We'll wait till they're actually officially done. There's Ivy there. There, now she's done. Okay, excellent. Let's go back to our um, solid storage and then pick her to work here. Great, okay. So now we are all set to set up our solid production. Now, how much do we have? 700 kilos there, great. So to do this, what you need to do is, first of all, select where you're gonna get your solid from. We're gonna use grass only. So let's activate this production line here. It's 100%. That, mean, that means everything's going to come from grass. We're not going to use crops or straw, but that's fine. And then it, may, it says take above. And I think that actually means take up to this many kilos of grass. So if you have 700, if I put 700 here, it's gonna, she's going to pick at the most 700. If I say one, it's going to pick at the most one, I think. What I want to do, I think, is say unlimited. I think that's fine in this case. Yeah, and then we'll see what they collect and put it there. So she's going to come over here and, and pick it up when she's ready. Pick up the grass from the barn and take it over to the solid storage right here and drop it off. 
And I think that's going to get uh, start the production. So we'll see what actually does. There's somebody here with a vehicle. Who is this? That is somebody who is not us. Are they inspecting? I don't know what that uh, lady is doing. She's getting back into the car. And then she's leaving. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, now we have somebody here. We should have Ivy. That was not Ivy, was it? I mean, she doesn't have a car to drive there. Now she's coming here, isn't she? Now that's Cherry. Here she has nothing to do. Where is Ivy? So Ivy is... Yeah, she's working there. She's right here. She has a bag with grass. See that? 85 kilos of grass. That's a maximum she can carry. She's going to drop it off here. Because we need uh, at least at least 100, I think, to get started. We get plus 5% here because of her skill. She has 3 out of 5, I guess. I don't know what else, what other skills she would need. Uh, you can get higher than that. You can get up to, I think, 25%. So instead of get, getting 300, we get 315. So let's see if she's... Oh, she dropped it off, I think, right? Yeah, she did. 85. So we're going to see the production start going up here. It says unlimited. All right. Now, the only problem with setting unlimited is that she's going to pick up all of it. So if we don't have enough grass here for the cows to eat, it might be a problem. We're saying right now, just eat a minimum amount of grass and then more silage. That's fine, I guess. We already have, what did we say, 37 uh, kilos of grass here. So that's the only competing thing. And we have it set to auto production or auto manage here. So they're going to adjust uh, accordingly. So if we have less grass, they're going to just... Uh, Feed them more silage, which I think they want a varied diet, and that gives them more milk, I'm guessing. I don't know that, actually, but here she is, Ivy, carrying another 85 kilos. Now, that's 200 pounds, and she's... That's pretty casual. She's walking around with 200 pounds here. That's that's pretty good. I couldn't do it in my uh, one hand, carrying that. So she's going to go over there to the um, solid storage and drop it off, and then... Once we have this, I think... Oh, uh oh I exited out. And that can cause a problem there. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. I've noticed that it gets a little bit flaky if you don't exit out of the right appropriately. Okay, there's the storage for silage. And we should get production. Oh, yeah, see that production there? That blue bar is our production. Not done yet. 160 kilos there. So that should go up. We'll speed it up a little bit. Oh, done. Okay. There, now we have it. We produced it. Okay, that's why it stopped. Because now we've finished our mission there. Chapter 2, Part 1. Okay, you say that you want to breed chicken? Well, did I? Well, maybe I did. Your grandmother, grandmother also did. She always said that they were less demanding than cows. But I was uh, stubborn and insisted on cows. And that was a bit expensive, but it might be worth it. Maybe it's time to change from cows to chickens. Now, it's your farm, and if you insist on it, build a small silo and a chicken coop. Okay, we're going to do that, but let's do it next time. Guys, if you like this, give me a like or give me a dislike. Let me know what you think, and I will be back next time. Bye, guys.